Fred. So, I hope everybody had a great Christmas and a good New Year. Yeah, it's been a little late. I haven't had a chance to make a, uh, a video in a while. I've been busy at work and uh, just sorting things out. Uh, during uh, the Christmas, uh, during December, uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube DIY videos making uh, your own CNC plasma cutting table. So, did a lot of research. Started researching parts, controllers, um, stepper motors, stepper drivers, and then the last but not least, learning Fusion 360, which is a bit of a, a learning curve since I do everything on paper. So um, I decided, yeah, uh, I, I priced a few tables and they were uh, out of my price range. Uh, unfortunately, because they were really, really, really nice uh, tables, but by uh, the time I pay the, uh, the duty and the exchange, it's uh, it's way over my budget. So, uh, like I said, I did my research, start calling uh, suppliers uh, uh, for aluminum, uh, for all my motors and the drivers and so forth, and went on uh, a lot of the. Uh, Amazon, uh, AliExpress, Banggood, um, a lot of places in the U.S. for parts as well. So I end up just saying, okay, I'm going to build my own, uh, which is not too bad. Um, like I said, it was a learning curve, watching a lot of YouTube videos, how-tos, and uh, getting some ideas. So uh, I went with an aluminum structure, or, uh, or extrude aluminum structure, uh, uh, table. Uh, the table came from Central Industrial Solutions. Um, they pre-cut everything to what I wanted and uh, they use these really, really neat uh, fasteners to secure everything together and they fit in these little channels here that are in the extrude. So it goes, to brother, it goes together really simple. I had the table together within 20 minutes. It was a no-brainer. So that worked out really well. Got the legs installed. Uh, got the linear guides installed. Uh, I'll give you a list of where I got the parts so you got an idea. So again, Central Industrial Solutions, I got the uh, aluminum for the table. Amazon, I got the linear guides with the ball screws. AliExpress, I got the stepper motors and the stepper motor drivers, DM556s from Linshine or Leachine. Uh, Banggood supplied me with all the aviation connectors that I use and all the proximity sensors. And uh, Amazon gave me a guy also got the power supplies, uh, three different uh, three different ones. Uh, well, two, 224 volt, 148 volt. The 124 volt is dedicated to the controller, which I'll show you a uh, um, the controller box here that I have behind me. Uh, 48 volt for the stepper drivers and another 24 volt uh, DC for the fans and some accessories and uh, relays and stuff. Um, I got the Maso controller from a company in the US called CNC for PC. Uh, that was very uh, nice. You know, I put an order online and got it within uh, three weeks. Uh, I went to Premier Plasma CNC for my uh, uh, Proma uh, torch height controller. I'm still waiting for that. Uh, I guess I got another week to wait for that. But like I said, the majority of stuff, uh, it didn't take much time to get. Uh, it's unfortunate when you do go to uh, Banggood and AliExpress, you're waiting three, maybe sometimes four weeks for parts. But, you know, uh, being patient is okay. So. I'll give you a few shots of the table. You can see the big mess in front of me, wire, uh, crimp connectors, heat shrink tubing, assorted metric uh, uh, bolts, um, yeah, more uh, uh, bearings for the ball screw, uh, supports. Um, yeah, that, uh, like I said, the whole table full. I just received another box today for, the, uh, for some more. Um, aviation connectors, the ones I need for my um, proximity sensors. So they came in, so yeah, I'm uh, ready to finish off the electrical panel 
which I've kind of stoked about because I'd like to uh, set up a dry run the motors on the table and set up. And now I'll give you a couple reasons why I went with this particular controller. And uh, let me get the camera and we'll go over to the, uh, the uh, CNC control box. All right, hang in there. Okay guys, this is the uh, CNC control box. The control box I got from a, a friend. He wasn't using it, so uh, I uh, got that off of him. I installed uh, two fans, one on the top, one on the bottom. Cold air in, hot air out. Here's the three power supplies. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna have to put another 48 volt power supply in with these particular drivers because the motors draw uh, 4.2 amps DC. So we're gonna give it a shot with just the one and see how it goes. Uh, I got the Maso G3 uh, CNC controller here. Um, I've got some block there. Um, I've got some connectors uh, and I'm waiting for the, uh, I, got, I just, like, matter of fact, I just got them today, like I said, the uh, proximity connectors and one for my uh, CPC wire that goes to the back of my plasma and that's a spare for something that ever comes up anyways uh, i got the power power plug adapter in there these will be for the uh, two usb ports that plug directly into the back of the master controller give me a second i'll just come around so the master controller has four usb ports and one vga port so the reason i went with this controller i don't need a pc plug the monitor in there keyboard and mouse and plug a jump drive in there with the g code already on it and just start it up load it up in the controller and away you go uh, this controller will have a, a plasma cnc image in it um, and they constantly update and upgrade all the way the controls work on this particular controller which i thought was really neat like i said i don't have to worry about a hard drive crashing plug the monitor in your keyboard your mouse and away you go so this is the reason i went with this particular controller their tutorials on their website are awesome um, i basically just went on the website uh, checked all their tutorials how to wire it up what goes where uh, even though it says inputs outputs and they give you a good explanation of what all the stuff does so i was kind of happy about that uh, the drivers they didn't have any documentation documentation's written right on the side here uh, all the settings and so forth what you need to do to set up your your uh, stepper motors uh, what each plug what each plug does uh, these are kind of cool because these plugs can be taken off and uh, snap back into place. So if you got a driver that goes bad, you don't have to unwire the whole thing. You just unplug it, put the new one in, and away you go. So so anyways, that's it for the, the controller here. Yeah, I've got some wires. i got to wire this up to 110, which will go to that plug there, and to a uh, uh, on-off switch, which I'll have somewhere down here. And my, um, that, oh, I remember what that's for. That's for the, uh, the e-stop. So I've got the plugs for the e-stop, which is great. And I got the e-stop button somewhere around here. Just gonna find it. Probably in a, a box full of goodies. But uh, yeah, that's it guys. So as you can see my table, she's loaded up with all kinds of stuff. Uh, here's some really cool relays. They're like a, a terminal block. These are where I'm gonna tie in my uh, proximity switches so I can actually see it to make sure that the relay is actually being pulled in. Um, and I don't have a bad proximity, so I went with an indication type relay that's on here, so. And uh, yeah, my crimp-ons, crimp-on tools. I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, soldering as well to get all the connectors soldered in and, uh, and uh, shrink-wrapped at the end there. I'm gonna put some grounds in to make sure everything's grounded properly. So yeah, that's about it guys. All right, hang in there. Uh, so that's it for tonight guys. Uh, I did make a little uh, 
uh, torch height uh, break and uh, break off torch control or whatever you call it. Break torch break box. What it does is torch sits in here. If it hits a lifted piece, it'll twist off. So I don't ruin my thousand uh, dollar torch for my hypertherm. I'll give you a few close-ups of this. Hang in there. So I've just got to mount a few of the uh, uh, sensors or a couple of micro switches. I got to add, put a couple springs on the sliders here, but that slides up and down. And uh, the breakaway, what it does, if if there's a piece flipped up on the table and the torch hits it, it will actually break away. So I've got a little pivot there. I got uh, four rare earth magnets on the back side and uh, four on the front side. And uh, yeah, she's uh, she's pretty strong. She won't wiggle loose. And it's not like the torch is gonna be dragging the lot across the material. So uh, this will be hooked up to the uh, Z axis of the uh, table. So I did that off camera because I had to get a new battery for the, uh, for the video camera. Anyways, with that said guys, I'd like to say thanks to all my subscribers, thanks to all my new subscribers. Uh, I will give you progress reports as I'm putting this thing together, and uh, you guys have a great night. Bye for now.